Jesus explains the Trinity. Narrated by Daniel. For now, you know in part, and you prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then you shall know. Until then, there are some things that the human mind cannot comprehend, like where does outer space end? And when did time begin? Although you can understand from my word that there was a beginning to that physical dimension. Or where does all matter come from? Again, my word explains that everything was spoken into existence in the beginning. But the human mind cannot possibly comprehend how my spoken word can materialize into all that is in the physical dimension. Likewise, even with the explanation found in my word, the human mind cannot truly grasp an understanding of what has been called the Trinity. Nevertheless, let me explain what you can understand, and let there be no strife or vainglory among the brethren, but rather love one another as I have loved you, forgiving one another and forbearing one another. For by this all men shall know that ye are my disciples, by your love one toward another, and not by your supposed knowledge of all things. My word says that the invisible things that are not seen are clearly to be understood by the things that are seen, even the eternal power and Godhead. There are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. How can this be that three can be one? May I remind you that you must become as children to understand the kingdom of God, for I hide the mysteries of my kingdom from the wise and prudent, lest they be lifted up in pride. And I reveal them unto babes, for so it seems good in my Father's sight. I have declared that my Father and I are one, and yet Stephen saw me standing beside my Father when his eyes were opened to behold and testify of this truth. And did I not say that unless I go away, the Holy Spirit cannot come unto you? but that if I go away, I would send the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, to teach you all things whatsoever I have said unto you. Therefore, how can three be one? Behold, a threefold cord. Is it one, or is it three? Unravel one cord, and is it one, or is it part of the three? Who can answer, for one shall say yea, and another shall answer nay? Behold, the nature of water. I am the water of life. I and the Father are one. I am in the Father, and the Father in me. My spirit is fluid. It flows into the Father, and flows from the Father and always holds the properties and nature of the Father. For if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And yet, I am the Son of Man, and I pray to the Father, and I know the Father, and my will is to do the will of my Father. And in another place, at another time, I said that I did not know the day and hour of my return, and that only my Father knew. Now have I made known to you the day and hour of my return, through the revelation given to me by my Father's hand, and I signified it by my angel, and made it known to you through my servant John. 
and therefore, if a man says that no man can know the day and hour, then he is not rightly dividing the word of truth. For I have promised that I shall do nothing, except I reveal it first to my servants, the prophets. This have I done. Howbeit, I shall raise all that believe on me on the last day, and this promise includes my two witnesses. Therefore, know and understand that the day of my return to resurrect all believers shall be on the last day of Daniel's 70th week, on the last day when the sun and the moon go dark, immediately after the tribulation. And the hour shall be three and a half days, 84 hours, from when my two witnesses are killed, for they too must take part in the resurrection on the last day, to fulfill the scripture that I shall raise all believers on the last day. And then shall you know, even as you are known, and then the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared it to his servants, the prophets. And then in my presence shall the understanding of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be revealed. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. So be sure to subscribe, like, and share this channel. Thank you. And God bless.